If you're tired of the stacks of SSDs on your desk that you use because they have fast read and write speeds, I've got a solution for you. It's the TerraMaster D8 Hybrid. Now, if you're constantly running out of storage space on your computer, maybe you're like me and you use a laptop on your desktop, you end up using a lot of these solid state drives because they're fast and you need the fast performance. I edit a lot of video, edit photos, and move around a lot of files and need faster storage. But I'm always running out of space on these drives and having to jockey between drives, remembering which one I used for which project, and I was getting kind of tired of that. The TerraMaster D8 Hybrid is a device that both has large capacity storage using full-size drives, so the full desktop size hard drives, so you could put up to four of those in here, but then it also has four slots for NVMe drives as well, which means I could throw four four terabyte NVMe drives in here and have a whole bunch of really fast storage space. So initially to test this out, I put two 12 terabyte NAS drives in here and I put two one terabyte NVMe drives in. It was very easy to install the drive. On the front of the device, we have four caddies that come out and you simply slide the drives into the caddy, slide them back in and lock the mechanism. To install the NVMe drives, we remove two screws from the back of the case, slide off the panel, and very easily and gently slide in those NVMe drives and attach the screw to hold them in place. Once everything was installed, I went onto the back of the device and I chose to configure this as a RAID 0. Now, the reason I chose RAID 0 is because I wasn't concerned with this device having any sort of fault tolerance. RAID 0 gives you the full capacity of all of the drives that you've installed and essentially makes one big drive with better performance. The TerraMaster also allows you to choose RAID 1, which does give you a little bit of protection against a drive failure. It also has single mode, which means that each of these drives that you install in here would connect to your computer individually. So say you put four hard drives in here, you'd have four hard drives that would show up on your computer. So once everything was installed and I connected it to my computer, it does connect via a USB-C cable to your computer, power it on. My computer saw all of those drives and wanted me to format all of them. Now I'm on a Mac, so I opened up the disk utility, went up to file and chose the option to create a RAID. Now this device is designed to set up two RAIDs. You will have one RAID for the larger hard drives and one RAID for the NVMe drives. That means that you'll have one RAID that's very fast that you can connect to for fast data transfer speeds. So if I'm editing video, I can edit off of the NVMe drives. And then when I'm done, I can drag those files over to the other RAID, which is still much faster than if I had just an external hard drive plugged into my computer. And that RAID I would use for longer term storage. Gone are the days of having to have a stack of hard drives that are plugged into your computer, some of them being larger drives that are slower with more storage and drives like this, which are fast, but definitely don't have an easy way of existing existing and living on your desk. This is one device with one power cable and one USB that gives you access to larger drive storage as well as fast NVMe storage. So how did it perform? Let's talk about it. First thing I wanted to do was do a disk speed test. I was really impressed with the read and write speeds that I was able to get out of the larger hard drives, out of the desktop hard drives. I only had two of them in here in a RAID 0. If I had had four hard drives in there, I would have had even better performance. But with two hard drives in here, I was getting read and write speeds that were fast enough for me to edit 4K video directly from them, which is great. I mean, even just alone, that is fantastic. And I would have been satisfied there. And as I mentioned, I had two drives in there, not four, and was getting fantastic performance out of those drives, fast read and write speeds. And so when I need to access files or work on projects and I want that faster transfer speed, I have that performance on the NVMe side of this device. So who would need a device like this anyways? Well, if you find yourself transferring a lot of files back and forth between different devices, wishing that you had more storage that was faster, then this is a solution. It's very easy to set up and configure. In under 30 minutes, I had it ready to go and I was editing video files off of it and testing it immediately. It's a very quick, easy to use system. It doesn't have have any software that you need to install on your computer. It's simply a much better solution as far as external storage goes. Now it does connect to your computer like any other external storage device, which means that before you disconnect your computer from this device, so if you're like me and you use a laptop and you wanna take that laptop and go use it somewhere else, you do need to eject your external device. So on a Mac, I simply eject it, or if you're on a PC, 
make sure that you eject this device before you remove the cable. So I did a bunch of tests just to see what kind of performance I was able to get out of this. The advertised read and write speeds were very consistent to what I was getting. On the desktop hard drive side, I was getting read and write speeds that far surpassed what I was used to getting. If I had a single or dual drive external hard drive, typically those were slow and I wasn't able to edit video directly from them, but I had no problem with the D8 hybrid. Switching over to the NVMe side of things, I was consistently able to get the 980 read and write speeds that are advertised, which yes, is not as fast as one of these little guys, but is fast enough for pretty much everything that I do. If I need really fast transfer speeds because I'm going to be transferring files to something like this and then taking this with me and I want the speed of transfer, that's fine, I'll use this. But when I'm at my desk, I want a simple solution that requires only one cable that gives me a ton of capacity and doesn't sacrifice read and write speeds. That's what the D8 hybrid does. It gives you storage storage and performance without sacrifice. So I'll leave some links in the description below to the D8 hybrid as well as the drives that I decided to use to configure it. If you're looking for a simpler external storage solution, the D8 hybrid is an excellent choice for those of you that want large amounts of storage but don't want to sacrifice read and write speeds. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.